Okay, this is um, a short video about the basics of electricity and a bit of electronics. There are four main concepts to understand when we are studying um, direct current or DC electricity. Those four concepts are voltage, current, resistance and power. There are two ways to wire up a circuit and that is series or parallel. Now most useful electronic circuits involve uh, combinations of both of these two types. So series is when you have components next to each other. For example, here we have the symbol for a bulb and next to it we have another bulb. These two bulbs are said to be connected in series. Contrasting that with parallel, we have to always have more wire to connect bulbs or any components into parallel. So here are two bulbs connected in parallel. And during the course of this um, cycle you will become familiar with all of these symbols here. Some of them are pretty obvious and you probably do remember them uh, from last year. There are a couple of others which are not shown which I'll add on as we go through. The first one is the switch. Um, pretty obvious and very commonly used. These terminal uh, junctions are sometimes not shown, and so you just see a straight line. The cell always is one short one and one long line. The short line is sometimes fatter, but not always. And for a battery of cells, that means uh, a number of cells connected in series, these dots indicate that the number can be variable or different, um, just basically starting with a cell and ending with a cell. The lamp you've seen, voltmeter, ammeter, the resistor, this is the newer symbol. There is an older symbol which looks a bit like this. Uh, you'll sometimes see that one in, in older textbooks, certainly. And then the variable resistor, so you have this arrow going across it that indicates that the uh, resistance can be changed. And the motor symbol. The power supply symbol um, is not shown here on the chart. It's very much the same as a battery symbol that sometimes is used interchangeably as a power supply. Another possibility you may come across on the internet or in some textbooks is something like this. Basically, a, it looks like a resistor, but it has a plus and a minus terminal uh, indicated. And usually in the middle, you have some value of volts indicated as well, say 10 volts or 12 volts or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> so the other thing is the wires. Sometimes you'll see wires that are connected, and they expect you to understand that those two wires are connected. Um, sometimes they'll make that connection more obvious by making a sort of a dot and then there are wires that are not connected and they can be shown uh, like this. So it's clear that the wire going across the page is not connecting with the wire going down the page. However, the convention that I'll be using is that if the wires are touching, then they are connected. So in other words, if you see this, those two wires are connected. And therefore, if I wanted to show you something where they weren't connected, I'd, I'd have to do something like that. Fortunately, we don't need to do that sort of thing um, for this cycle. Okay, the first um, concept you need to become familiar with is the voltage, also called potential difference. The symbol for this is logically V. Um, somewhat confusingly, the unit is volts and the symbol is also V. The definition, energy per unit charge, that is the key phrase, those four words. If you remember that, uh, you uh, remember most of the definition, basically. Supplied by a power source or used by a component. And the equation uh, that says the same thing, really, uh, potential difference V equals the work done per unit charge or the energy transferred per unit charge. So the energy per unit charge, remembering that work done is the same thing in physics as energy transferred. When you're measuring voltage or potential difference uh, we use a voltmeter and these are always placed across or in parallel to the 
power source or the component that you are measuring. And so this potential difference, well, the word difference gives you a hint. It really is the comparison of energy per unit charge before and after the component in the circuit. The analogy is the height of a marble ramp. You'll see this demonstrated in class, so you'll be able to add a note to that to make sense of it. Um, during the uh, lessons, we'll be doing lots of practical activities. This is one of them. We'll be connecting a series of bulbs and measuring the potential differences across those bulbs in series. And we'll do the same thing in parallel, and you'll be able to discern a pattern uh, for the potential differences in series and a pattern for the uh, potential differences in parallel circuits. The second concept you need to understand is current, symbol is I, unit is the ampere, short uh, version is the amp, symbol is capital A. The def definition of uh, current is simply the rate of flow of charge. Now even just those five words there um, would be enough, but logically we're talking about fl through a component or a circuit um, is where the charges are flowing. The equation here, logically, is the same thing as the statement above. Current I equals the charge per second, the rate of flow of charge. Uh, ammeters, they are the things that are used to measure current. They are connected always in series, with the components or the circuit branches being measured. The number of coulombs passing through per second is measured and displayed in amperes. So a coulomb per second is the same as an amp. In other words, the unit of an amp is a coulomb per second. The analogy for current is the rate at which the marble moves through the nail board. That is what I'll show you in class. There'll be a you know, demonstration and you'll be able to understand that better and make a note. Another analogy would be the flow rate, it should be, through pipes of, of uh, water. The rate of flow of um, molecules of water through pipes would be the analogy with current. You'll do a practical activity um, measuring current using the multimeter set up as an ammeter, and you'll record down how the current varies when more bulbs are added in the series. And you'll be able to discern a pattern for that as well. We'll do the same activity with parallel circuits, and they are quite tricky to measure uh, the branches separately, and you'll see that as we do it in class. The third concept you need to become familiar with is this thing called resistance. It really, uh, as, a, as a summary way of thinking about it, it's to do with friction inside the wires, um, usually copper wires. The symbol is R. The unit is ohm, capital omega, which is the Greek letter for the uh, ohm symbol. What is it? Well, it's the amount of energy per unit charge needed to move one ampere of current through a component or circuit. It's equal to the ratio of potential difference to current. So this is the equation, the ratio of potential difference divided by current. A measurement, um, to, to measure this, well, you, you could use a digital multimeter connected in parallel to the component or the circuit, um, but the circuit needs to be switched off. It can't be on, can't be live. Otherwise, you could measure voltage and current separately and can calculate the, the ratio yourself to find the value of resistance. Another analogy is the hindrance to the rate of flow of water in a pipe. For example, you could think of the, the build-up of scum on the walls, so less flow as the scum increases. Um, or the nails on the board. Now, more nails would be more resistance, so you'd have less flow or uh, a lower flow rate, more correctly. Here's a small activity you'll be doing in class, measuring... The ratios are for different values of resistors when they're connected to a 4 volt power supply. And you'll measure these uh, ratios and you'll see a pattern emerge and that'll just make 
the idea of the ratio of potential difference to current equaling resistance um, hopefully sink in. So here's a little exercise, something else you, you may um, um, need in order to make sure this is well understood. If I give you an experiment in class um, in, involving a variable resistor in series with a resistor, um, here is, for example, just some data that we made up perhaps or, or gathered from a student. And if you did this experiment, you'd be expected to calculate the ratio uh, V upon I for each of these data sets. So doing the first one, 2.40 divided by 0 0.510, just tap it in, I get 4.7 with a string of numbers after it. I'm going to round it to, okay, we'll, we'll take three figures, so let's get 4.71. It's the same number of figures um, in each of these two columns, so we'll just round to the same number. So if you go ahead and complete the rest of these um, ratios, you should see a pattern emerge. And what that tells you, of course, is that um, the value of the ratio of potential difference to current is constant. And that constant value is the value of the resistance being measured. Any slight difference in the third figure uh, down the column is simply a result of experimental error in the experiment. But certainly the numbers should be constant to the first two figures all the way down. 